Solve 3y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equals 0. Solution. In this case, we have a linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients. So what we'll do is look at the characteristic equation. So it'll be 3. And then because we have the second derivative here, we write m squared plus 2. And here we have the first derivative, so that's m. Plus, and then here we don't have a derivative, so we just write down 1. And this is equal to 0. At this point, we can try to factor. Uh, doesn't look like we'll be able to easily. So let's go ahead and resort to the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So in this case, a is 3, b is 2, and c is 1. So this is equal to, let's see, negative b, so negative 2, plus or minus the square root. b is 2, so b squared is 4, minus 4, and then a was 3, and then c was 1. It's all being divided by 2a, so 2 times 3. So this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root 4 minus 12, right? 4 times 3 is 12, so this is 4 minus 12, so we get negative 8. It's all being divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. This is negative 2 plus or minus i square root 8, all divided by 6. This can be written as negative 2 plus or minus. And the square root of 8, if we think of the largest factor of 8 that's a perfect square, that's 4. So we can write it as square root of 4, square root of 2, and the square root of 4 is 2. So we can write the square root of 8 as 2 square root of 2. So this is i 2 square root of 2 over 6. Then we can break this up. It's negative 2 over 6 plus or minus, and then i 2 square root of 2 over 6. And so finally, m is equal to negative 1 third plus or minus, and then the 2's cancel, so we get the square root of 2 over 3, and then we still have the i, and I'll put it on the outside. So we have complex conjugates roots for our characteristic equation. They are of the form alpha plus or minus beta i. In this case, alpha is negative 1 third, and it looks like beta is the square root of 2 over 3. So the final answer has the form y equals c1 e to the alpha x cosine beta x plus c2 e to the alpha x sine of beta x. And all we do now is plug in alpha and beta. So y equals c1 e to the, and we said alpha was negative one third. I'm going to write that as negative x over 3. Same thing. And then cosine, and beta is the square root of 2 over 3. So it'll be the square root of 2 over 3 times x. And then plus c2 e to the negative x over 3. And as before, sine of the square root of 2 over 3 times x. And that is the final answer.